Hey, bro. What? What's the uh? You ain't been to prison in a while, right? Nine years. All right. So, in in North is North Carolina prison is crazy. Very. Do do Charlotte niggas stick together? Somewhere depends on it. Depends. It depends. Like if you gang banging or whatever. Like, but a lot of niggas from the city coming there claiming one thing and they leave or blood. Like I done seen niggas coming. Blood, there. blood is the biggest thing in yeah, there in North Carolina whole prison system. But I done seen niggas come from the streets of Crip or GD or Charlotte King and come go to prison and turn out of blood. It's all on. Based on the work you put in. What like, what's the craziest shit you ever seen in there? Um, the craziest the craziest shit I seen was it was some blood shit going on. It was two blood sets going to war. Uh, pretty Tony and Nine Tree. And um, one or two of the Pretty Tony niggas, I ain't gonna say no names, but I fuck with them boys. They um they laid in the dorm on the nigga. They, it's, it's, it, the way it's set up is like. You go to a unit, it's three different dorms, A, B, C block. Mm -hmm. And I can't re remember what dorm niggas was in, but I know the two pretty Tony niggas, they were sign language in each other from opposite dorms mm -hmm. while the nigga they finna get it is coming out another dorm. So the nigga, the nigga that got fucked up named Head, he come out, he go to the little podium. I think he was going to medical or some shit. Yeah. But he signed the little log thing to leave the unit. And when he signed it, like the pretty Tony niggas had the guards working with him. <laughs> so, so he was dead. When, when I mean, the nigga, he, he when was, the nigga, was. When the nigga put his head down and went to signing, the other two sliders open, and them niggas came. One nigga had an ice pick. One nigga had a big ass razor that you cut carpet with. Bro, they punched him a few times. Um, one of the niggas stabbed him with the ice pick, and yeah. when he did that. The nigga pulled the nigga with the razor pulled the the, the, the shirt jacket over the nigga head and started hollering out, "Nigga, we finna make a horror film out here." <laughs> <laughs> they cutting and stabbing and the niggas took all running and fell out. And they did, just, like, did the did everybody around the prison like did y'all already know? Like yeah, was y'all yeah, already yeah, on yeah, point? Yeah, that's how it is and they're like when some they call it shooting a nigga in there. When a nigga finna get shot, mm -hmm. everybody in the prison know except the person except that's for the get victim. shot. It's the shooter and the person that's getting shot is like the shooter know what it is, but the, the person that's getting shot, he ain't gonna know. He might be playing and he he ha ha with his homeboys, and they might be telling him, bro, you need to get on away from us. So you know how they do the little silent treatment, and they don't catch on. They said that uh, Charlotte, the biggest like hated group in there, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, cause yeah. all the little country towns hate on Charlotte. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you know why they hate on us, bro? Just say all Charlotte niggas coming there with gold teeth in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they be saying. Man, y'all Charlotte niggas think y'all y'all think y'all Atlanta niggas. Why? Because we wear gold we think, teeth. They say we think we better than everybody. I'm saying but we, we look at more, everybody like it's the country. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. We got we got more swag and more more more. Not I mean, I posh the more upright than them little mm -hmm. So you know, them niggas them niggas used to coming outside. Weighing anything versus a nigga from Charlotte, even though he in prison, that nigga will fresh in the streets. That nigga gonna be fresh in there. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, niggas be hating on this shit, bro. And um, is it is you ever seen some shit like uh, like you know, uh, somebody even even joining a group, right? Um, where you end up having to risk your life or like you know, what I'm saying even though say like say like somebody got a little bit of time to do, right? But shit, it come down to it. You might have to catch a body. Have you ever seen some shit like that? I done seen niggas go through that shit. This nigga from the city that's going through that shit right now. Damn. Yeah. And that's why you motherfucking that, kids that, that, need to stay nigga, out of trouble. That nigga Tony O'Pruel from Hidden Valley. Yeah. He went, to, he went to prison for killing that nigga on no trying. Yeah. He went to prison to Charlotte King. He was in there like two years, bro. The nigga got down the blood. Niggas putting the heat on his ass. He was a king. And, and made him and, and forced him turned into blood, bro. He turned blood. You can pull that shit up on Google, bro. Now, now let me let me ask you this. That nigga had five years left to get out, bro. He blood, so they told him, yo, you gotta go handle the situation. He went to handle the situation, ended up killing the nigga, bro. Now he ain't never getting out of it. Had five years left. So let me ask you this though. In that situation, was he supposed to check in? Or was he just supposed to just ride out and just say fuck it? What you mean? Before before he folded his king flag. That nigga supposed to stood up because he wasn't on the king nigga though. 
Yeah, so he went. So he was weak from the beginning. He, he, then in the streets, they say he was a monster because he had a gun and and, and, and a force behind him. But mm-hmm. in prison, you ain't got that shit. You got your hands, your little shank, or whatever, and whatever gang you with. And them niggas ain't them niggas and they ain't jumping niggas. They send the niggas do. I mean, right. grown man shit. You fighting, you got a problem, nigga. You stab him up by yourself. So they flanking iron a lot. Your, in yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the like the younger ones, like them but the, the old, head, them be the them be the shooters right there. But the but the older the niggas, old they they chilling, just chilling, getting, trying to get a little bit of money. The little young niggas, yep. Jump out of one of the kings on your ass. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. And but the kings and the crypts still run together, right? In there. Nah, bro. They ain't fucking with each other at all. Never like that. Either. Okay, because on the street, you remember kings and crypts was yeah, running like, together. Nah, but king is they own like. And there, it's, it's not like no like how the Cali- street it ain't is. no California type shit. Oh, you blood and this a crib, y'all see each other face off type shit. Man, that shit been played out. Right. Like if you getting some money, niggas gonna fuck with right, you. Right, right. I knew that. I know like, that. For I done sure. seen. I done seen where 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 the bloods go to war with the Mexicans, and you got Crips, they black. You got GDs, they black, but they got a little bit of white mixed in. But they like, yo, you fuck that, bro. We all black in here, like, fuck that. We gonna ride out the Mexicans. So they'll send two, three GDs and click up with two, three Crips, and they'll click up with two, three Bloods. Mm-hmm. And now you got six of them, and they go wreak havoc and get the whole prison shut down. The Migos, they say they go the hardest in the prison That's system. A That's a lie. They Bloods go, go harder they than go the, the Migos. They go the hardest on each other. Okay, but the blood, so the Bloods go harder than anybody, right? I ain't gonna say they go harder. It's just they got they more. It's more. What about do we got Ghostface in North Carolina? What's the Ghostface crew? Nah, nah. Uh, the white boys. They all they Virginia. Nah, uh, yeah, no, they Georgia. got that shit. BFG bound for glory. That that clan shit. They ain't got no real goddamn. Because uh, the Ghostface, from my understanding, they just white boys who don't fold. Like they ain't yeah, racist, yeah. but they yeah, just they, they from the hood. Nobody. Yeah, yeah. They, Basically, in the field, they call them dirty white boys. Yeah. Okay. So they ain't, cause they ain't the racist ones. They more so like. From from the goddamn hood, but you know society white people, you know of yeah. course they look at them like how they look at black folks. Bro, I, I used to be cool with one of the one of the big dogs of, uh, of the uh, BLG Bound for Glory, which is like some uh, Aryan Nation shit, like all that racist shit they be saying about them boys. Yeah, they ain't true shit, bullshit. Uh, like so I asked, I asked like my, I, when I first got cool with him, I asked him, I was like, yo, y'all racist towards black. He said, man, we're racist against anybody that's on that bullshit. <laughs> said, and you can, you hey, can't do nothing but respect that. That's just like black, bro. What if about you, the Muslims? They, they, they. Well, when I was in there, they stood firm, but you know, they got, you got some of them that ain't like. Hey, they be flaky, cause I know everybody except I know the Muslims. They accept everybody, even if they gay. Yeah, but see, and they, and they, is, and they that's, change. That's, well, I ain't gonna say they gay, but if they run, change from being gay, right? That's what niggas run to when they being fucked up. Like I've yeah, seen blood that, niggas get that's exactly kicked what, out yeah. the whip, and yeah. they go to the Muslim community, and the Muslims stand up for them niggas. Like, I mean, so that's crazy. I do all so hold on so but but all the blood sets don't get along with each other just like no all the crip sets don't get along with each other no fuck no that shit crazy so these so these little young niggas they get out here they go they get into a little shooting then they go in there they can't stand on their own blood is the biggest set in there so they join the set and then they I guess turn up. Yeah, they turn up, but I mean, everybody had to turn down point two, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like, man, motherfuckers get tired of this shit, bro. Right. Like, that was my biggest thing. Like, right. Bro, I done, I done did, I did 38 months in a hole. Straight. God damn. One, I got, got that shit it. make you go crazy, right? No, it didn't make me go crazy, bro. I mean, that, that but it can time, make you go crazy, time though, right? I in prison was by myself. Because if I felt like, bro, and they're like, you don't. Like people who say that shit be they be happy, bro. That shit bullshit. Like, like, bro, you sit up like me, sitting in there, you get to think about shit you did in the street, the motherfuckers you fuck with, family and shit like that, bro. That shit it start affecting you. Mm-hmm. And like with me being in the hole, like, bro, like that shit break you down, bro. Like I don't want to be sitting in a dorm and I'm thinking about my mama or my mm-hmm. brother. And I'm like, damn, bro, I'll be right back going to sale and break down and cry. Like, nah, bro, that's why, like, 
Like I, I didn't, I never did no check out shit. Like I stayed on the yard as long as I could. But when the situation happened, like my thing was, if me, if if me and a person had a situation, bro, and it led to us fighting or stabbing. I'm gonna do some shit to you to the point you ain't even gonna wanna think about no get back. Mm -hmm. And when the guards see that, they gonna put me away for that. Mm -hmm. So that's how that shit was over here, bro. That shit, man. That prison shit, bro. That shit. Played yeah, out. Man, that shit well, played all out. right, my last question, right? Why do, like, niggas in, 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 in the penitentiary, how come they don't, like, like, small situations turn big or, or even, like, it's ego. Ego. Why? Why don't nobody talk that shit out? Like you remember how, like, like me and you, like yeah, I always yeah, tell yeah, you, yeah. like, 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 like we used to be doing some crazy shit, but, but like now, like I think about a lot of shit that I did after you got gone. I was like, damn, what the fuck did I even do that? I did that to black people. How come black people don't stick together in there more often? Like, I mean, I understand we're gonna because always it's have ego, issues. It's on, it's on some ego shit, bro. Like, bro, I should read a book, book called uh. The Willie Lynch story, bro, and they was saying like, yeah, the, and that's like, the story. and you see, you see who I got on the wall besides Pop. You see, I got, uh, I got, mm -hmm. I got, I got Huey back there. Yeah, then yeah, I got yeah. Marcus Garvey on the way. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? But yeah, they um, yeah, breast ego like, I done seen niggas come together, but just like with a lot of situations, money, yeah, soups, cakes, yeah. and pies, make zooms and whims. Make I heard you cause, cause even like everybody always say, um, they always give praise to Tukey Williams and Raymond, right? You know, Raymond Washington, right? But they don't understand that the reason why Crips got started, I mean, well, the reason why Crips got started community revolution and progress, right? To protect the neighborhood. But niggas don't niggas always forget that. This man came home and had a whole different mind state because Crips and Crips and Bloods are the babies of the Black Panther Party. Mm -hmm. And then they don't even understand that when this man came home, he, he changed his way of thinking and was on some more unified shit. But he was assassinated by, of course, the LAPD. And they and, were scared and, of Because he had hey, all that control. Hey, hey, he came home on the same dumb shit they wouldn't have did it. Right, yeah. Cause if he if he came home spreading the ignorance, they would have you know. But but they ain't had no choice. But and I I think a lot of black folks don't when, realize that when, shit. When, when people like that change, where it scare people. Yeah, just like cause just, we ain't never had no more. We ain't had no more black leaders since then. If you think just, about it, just like we just had like another people. Marcus Garvey, another Malcolm X, another Martin Luther King. It'll never be. It, like and then and then they they don't teach you that shit in school. They only teach you what that white man shit. Yeah, and and most kids can't even tell you uh, Martin Luther King's uh, speeches. They can tell you I had a dream. Mm -hmm. Hell, but they don't know what he was saying in the goddamn in the speech. But that's the only speech that they can tell you. But damn that, like Martin Luther King said, damn, you know, his last speech was the burning house. And people forget that he was like, segregation wasn't so bad. We probably should have did that instead. But see, poor white people forget too, like, Y'all not regular white folks. Y'all more like us. America look at them like like niggas. But yeah, man, that shit was crazy, bro. That was I, I gotta get another crazy uh prison story from you yeah, when we yeah, get a chance though. Yeah, yeah, man, this shit crazy, man. We trying to keep these kids out of jail, man. This yeah, don't that make shit, no that, sense. That, that shit that ain't where you wanna be, bro. At all. I, I remember care. one time you said I, I that was the loneliest nobody. place yeah, yeah. ever. The loneliest time of my life ever, bro. And that right there, bro. A jail cell in prison, bro. I don't see how people keep going through that shit. Yeah. And then it's crazy because you got niggas that sweat in love, get locked up, leave their woman out here, and try to control her from the jail, bro. Yeah. When I went to jail and shit, girl, oh, you they, crazy. Yeah, yeah you because it's, yeah, cause no, it's no, survival. That's how I got my help. I just seen niggas shit got them run away from behind them females. Yeah, that is survival. Yeah. All right, man, I'm going to post this shit, see what this shit do, man. I mean, it might not do nothing. It might do something. I don't know. I mean, we just want to see what it do. All right, y'all.